Welcome to the Responsive Walk Cycle series, where we will create a custom walk cycle and combine all the rigging and animation techniques to achieve such cool interactions. In the first part, we will create this skier-like movement for our character. We'll set up rigging for the glasses, head, and body of the character. We'll set up some cool animation loops and we'll create an additional joystick timeline to control the character's movement. Let's move to the working project. Here, you will find a character design consisting of simple shapes. The project also includes a pre-configured stroke for the character's legs, with two endpoints attached to their respective controllers. Additionally, the project contains an artboard with a pre-configured joystick taken from previous projects. Let's get started with the practice. In the first step, we will set up the rigging for the character's glasses. Create two controllers with nested bones to control the glasses. Duplicate an existing controller. Move it higher in the hierarchy and replace the controller to the ear position. Duplicate the controller and move it to the base of the lenses. Switch to edit path mode and adjust the points. To configure the rig, select the pen tool and add a point to the path. This way, we separate the frame arm from the lenses of the glasses. Activate bind bones and attach the path to the bones. Bind the outer point to the yellow bone. The other two points are by default attached to the blue bone. Select the lenses group and move it inside glass control lenses. Create the second frame arm by selecting the pen tool and drawing a line. Rename it to Glass Bracket 2. Reposition it in the hierarchy. Attach the points to the created bones. Adjust the weights for the points. To make the frame arm visible, configure the stroke. Set the draw rule to below the face. The glasses rigging is complete. In the next step, we will configure the rigging for the character's neck and set up bindings for the body and limbs. If you select the neck and move the points, you will notice it's a straight line. To make the neck bend relative to the head's position, select the lower point and change the Bezier mode from linear to detached. Now the neck is elastic.
disable the visibility of the body and head for more precise neck adjustments. Select an existing controller and duplicate it. Move it to the upper point of the neck. Duplicate it again and move it to the lower point of the neck. Select the neck and bind the points to the corresponding bones. Adjust the weights. Enable the visibility of the body and head. Move neck control body inside the body group. This way, the body controls the lower point of the neck. Select the layers belonging to the head and group them. Move the origin to the base of the head. Rename it to Head Animation. Group it again to allow additional head movement for joystick animation. Move the origin. Rename it to Head Control. Expand the hierarchy and move Neck Control inside Head Animation. Select the hand layers and move them inside the body group. Set up the draw rules for both arms. Select the leg top controls and move them inside the body group. The character rigging is complete. In the next step, we will animate the character's head. Switch to animate mode and prepare the timeline for the loop animation. Select Head Animation and Keyframe Position X and Y. Select Glass Control Lenses and Keyframe Position X and Y. Select Hair and Keyframe Scale X and Y. Go to the timeline and expand the properties for easier animation. First, animate position Y for the head animation group. Add animation for position X.
Next, animate position Y for glass control lenses. Copy the cycle and offset it. Add animation for position X. Copy the cycle and offset it. Animate the scale for hair. Copy the cycle and offset it. The head animation is complete. In the next step, we will create a loop animation for the glass highlights. Create a new timeline. Expand the hierarchy and select glass highlights. Set the opacity to 100. Activate clip target and select the glass lenses shape. Go to the timeline and animate position X. Increase the duration and loop the timeline. The highlight animation is complete. In the next step, we will set up a joystick to control the character's tilt. Create a new timeline. Select body and animate position X. Select Head Controls and Animate Position X and Rotation. Select Hands and Animate Rotation. This creates a movement resembling a skier's tilt. You can test the joystick in the current artboard. Create a joystick. 
Select the joystick timelines. Enable the state machine and adjust the handle parameter to test the joystick functionality. Since the joystick cannot be controlled directly in the current artboard, we will create a remap animation for the joystick in the remap artboard. To ensure proper functionality, disable the timeline and turn off the joystick. Switch to the remap artboard and add the animation artboard. Disable the background fill in the animation. Position the animation above. Delete the state machine. Add head wiggle in simple mode. Add Glass Highlight Loop in Simple Mode. Add the Joystick Timeline in Remap Mode. Switch to Animate Mode and open the Configured Joy 1 timeline. Animate the time property for the joystick timeline. Since we used a pre-configured joystick from previous lessons, we can enable the state machine and test the results. The skier-like movement for the character is set up, and the first part is successfully completed. To continue this project, join our interactive motion course. Visit our webpage to explore all projects that we will create during video lessons, and subscribe to our YouTube channel to get fresh RIVE tutorials.